A real story of horror revealed itself high in the French Alps this last week. As you probably know, recovery teams are combing through the wreckage still of that doomed German wings flight. The Airbus A320 crashed on Tuesday en route from Barcelona to Dusseldorf. All 150 people on board died, including two infants and a party of school children. The victims came from 18 countries, mostly from Germany and Spain. A stone memorial has been erected near the crash site. Relatives and friends have been paying tribute to their loved ones, carrying flowers and photographs with them. Meanwhile, details from the plane's voice recorder were released early on by French prosecutors, which meant a timeline of that fateful flight has emerged. It seems at 10 a.m. local time, that German wings plane took off as normal from Barcelona airport. Around half an hour later, the crew spoke to the ground control and that was to be the last time contact was made. The captain then left the cockpit for a moment, leaving the co-pilot in charge. Two minutes after that, the plane started to lose altitude. Now, that worried air traffic controllers. They tried to contact the aircraft, but they got no response from the co-pilot. At the same time, the captain tried to return back into the cockpit, but he found the door locked against him. On the voice recorder, he could be heard desperately trying to break down the door, apparently in the end with an axe. And in a final few minutes, two passengers began to understand something was terribly wrong. Their screams could be heard just seconds before the plane crashed into that mountain. Well, the co-pilot we're talking about, this is him, Andreas Lubitz. He's now suspected of having deliberately downed that aircraft. It's since emerged that he could have had problems with his eyesight, which may have affected his flying abilities. It's also known that Lubitz needed regular medical checks. He's also believed to have been signed off work by doctors for the day of that fateful flight. We spoke to an Airbus A320 pilot about the various scenarios whereby a captain can leave the cockpit. There are ways to gain uh, access to the cockpit from the outside. And again, uh, due to terrorism, to, to the terrorism threat, uh, these ways of gaining access to the cockpit can be actively blocked from the inside, meaning that if you cannot enter the cockpit from the outside, somebody has to uh, physically stop the system from working from the inside. Procedures call for uh, both pilots to be at their places uh, the entire time of the flight, except for physiological needs, meaning that one can step outside for a minute or two to uh, use the toilet and then basically be back in a seat within a short amount of time as possible. In the wake of the tragedy, Europe's aviation safety agencies issued new recommendations now for airlines, suggesting that at least two people should always be in the cockpit during flights. Several airlines have already changed their rules. RT.com's got more reaction to the German wings crash and the ongoing repercussions.